Hey everyone, this is Vic. Welcome back. And this is going to be a quick tutorial on how to use the Google Sheets and or the Microsoft Excel autofill option. And this I wanted to specifically make for how to do autofill for hexadecimal and binary, which it cannot do without going through these simple steps that I'm going to lay out for you, but also just autofill in general, because I think most of you are familiar with it, but maybe some of you are not. So if you want to get straight to the binary and hexadecimal autofill, just fast forward to the last half of the video. So what we want to do here, the autofill option is very simple. You put in a value, you take that little uh, bolded corner and you bring it down and Right now I have my default set to copy, but you drop in here, you open it up, and you put in fill series, and you see that it does that for you. And you could do it also for uh, months. I see I had caps on, I'll hit enter, kind of fix it up for me. And we can bring that on down, and what it's gonna do, it's gonna recycle once it gets to December, it's gonna start again at January, which it did, and you can also use date so let's just go ahead and start with let's say July 4th 2021 so uh, I don't like this date format I usually like years four digits for years do you know how to change that so let's change that real quick I'm going to show you how to do an autofill on that you go to format cells we're going to go over to date and I'm going to make this is my favorite date format four characters for year, two for months, and two for days. And it makes good sorting, especially over the years, if you're sorting your pictures and you rename them, stuff like that. And I can go ahead and fill this and it would automatically do that for you. Um, now, one of the other cool things too is this, is that you can actually take uh, multiple columns. So if I'm gonna say, let's say, I think sun this year, 4th of July is on Sunday, so let's do Sunday, and it's the 4th. I just, we all know it's the 4th because it shows here, but I just want to show how you can take three columns. And what we'll do is we're going to take these three rows, or th these three columns, and we're going to, it's going to overlay that data there. And boom, it does. So Sunday the 4th, and then you see it kind of fills in everything for you. Now Google Sheets does the same thing. So let's go ahead and just do a, a quick demo of that. So let's take that and do a copy. Jump on over to Google Sheets and put in those two. And let's go ahead and expand this. And you'll see that it took fourth, fifth, and it took the days of the week and recycled them as needed. So the same functions are available than sheets that are in Microsoft Excel. So now what we want to do is get the hexadecimal and the binary done because uh, Google nor Microsoft does that for you. So let's go ahead and take a typical um, hexadecimal number, Fox 000, okay? And what we'll do is we'll go ahead and expand this and you'll see that it's it, it took the last digits and it's it's filling a series, but it's not actually doing it in um, what we call hexadecimal because uh, the zero, as you know, hexadecimal is zero through 15, but the 10 through 15 is gonna be represented by A all the way to um, F. But you already know that if you're here for that. So that's just for the general audience watching. So how do we do this? So let's say I've got a hexadecimal range from Fox 000 that I've got to figure out all the way up to Fox 0 Baker Fox. Okay, so I want to go ahead and autofill from Fox 00 to Fox Baker Fox. So in order for me to do that, first I have to find out what decimal value this is. So there's a function within Google Sheets and Excel, which is where I am here now, but we're going to do hex to decimal. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to open paren, click on the cell that we want, close paren, and boom. So it calculated that hexadecimal number to me to be 61,440 in decimal. Now, it also has autofill for formulas, so I'm gonna take this, drop it down one, and what you see is that we're up to 61,631 is a decimal 
representation of this hexadecimal number here. So now what we know that what we want to do is we want to do an autofill from 61,440 to 61,631. Um, so we don't typically know how that's done. So what we're going to do is we have to go ahead and do the autofill using Excel. So what we want to do is we want to copy. Now I could just easily type this over here, 61,440, but let me just show you something else. And this is useful not only for this purpose of the hex to the decimal, but also um, for anything that you do. So what we want here is we want to do a right click copy. And in here, what we're going to do is we're going to do a right click paste special and then put in the paste value. So now what you see here, let me click elsewhere in this screen here. Now what you see here is that the actual cell is the value of what's in F, which is based on a formula. And a lot of times that comes in re really handy. So let's put this formula back in here. So we've got to get down to this. So what we want to do is we want to expand this. I think this is what, about 192 or something? Let's see. Let's bring this on down, 192 rows. And then we'll have to do fill series, uh, 192. Click fill series. And the number is 61,000. 631 and that's exactly right okay good so now what we're going to do is we want to do an autofill for the hexadecimal values on this so what we're going to do is we're going to do uh, a function within uh, Microsoft Excel and within Google Sheets and we're going to do decimal to hex open parent parentheses Take this value here, close parentheses, hit enter, and that's what we see. We see that this number here in hex is equal to Fox triple zero, and that's what we started out with. Now we're going to take that formula, as I showed you, the autofill works here. It's also going to work here in this long string of data, and we're going to bring it on down. And this should match the Fox zero Baker Fox. Fox zero Baker Fox. And that's how Microsoft Excel can do hexadecimal filling uh, autofill series for you. And you can do the same thing with the binary where all you need to do is you're going to do something called equals decimal to binary open paren. Now what we want to do is we want to take this cell here, close paren, okay, hit enter. Okay, that number is too large. Um, Excel does have a limit as to what it would do as far as the transformation of binary, because it would be a pretty long string, I think. So let's go ahead and change this out to be, uh, let's take one, and we're gonna fill this down to about here. Autofill, copy, fill series, okay. So we wanna convert from one to 27 into binary. Okay, so we need to change this formula now. So this is gonna be J1, okay? Hit enter, and binary one is the same as decimal one, which is J1. Now let's go ahead and do fill this series, and we'll see that binary now, uh, two is 10, which we know, three is 11, and then this here is the rep binary representation of decimal 27 and that's basically how you do it there's other functions within and obviously what you could do here it also has the function to go ahead and change uh, binary equals binary to decimal open parentheses click on the binary number close parentheses hit enter and now what we're going to do is let's fill that series and um, we see that what it's doing here, it's calculating these binary numbers into decimal values. And that's exactly what we expected to see, because this is a formula, right? This formula here is binary decimal for cell I2. 
All right, so that's what these are. And these here are just regular standard values. So that also works on Google Sheets. You could try it on your own. Uh, if you want, I could just go ahead and copy it real quick and show you. Let's go ahead and do this. We're taking the number and we're taking the formula and we're gonna bring it on over to Google Sheets and we're gonna paste it. So let's go ahead and see what we're doing here. So this here, we see the number is 6140 and we see here is, okay, it didn't translate the formula. So you gotta do actual equals. We're doing stuff live here, folks. So decimal to hex, open parentheses, click on that cell, close parentheses, hit enter. Okay, so now this here shows that it's got the number. This shows that it's using the formula and that's the display on it. Okay, so um, Google Sheets, there's a way, I could do another video on it, a way to copy formulas over from Excel directly into Sheets. That'll be for another video. So with that, hope that helps. Leave in the comments if there's something else that you need to know with this. And uh, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Thank you.